can you share your screen i have some logical questions for you yes sir. okay i can see your screen yeah. choose any compiler online compiler whatever you want this array without using predefined methods Hey, hi, yes, done with the code. Okay, what is event loop? So, event loop it is used for monitoring both the callback queue as well as the call stack. So, what happens is, uh, suppose if uh, the call stack gets empty, then what it will do the event to event loop it will wait until it gets empty and places next coming function from the callback view to the call stack so what it will do uh, with the concept of event loop these asynchronous functions will get executed okay what is promise so promise is nothing but a javascript object it is used for like it represents the failure or completion of the asynchronous operations in short what we can say it is a javascript object which might return a value in the near future okay how many types of variable we have? Uh, how many types? A uh, let, where, and const. So uh, where it is a global scope, whereas let and const they are the block scope. Then uh, let we can't uh, redeclare for let, whereas const we can't reassign value for the const. Whereas for where we can redeclare as well as reassign. So these are the two uh, difference: the scope and the redeclaration and reassign for let var and cons why we can uh, reassign in for the array we can change the elements of an array because what it does uh, for array uh, when we define the array as a constant 
what it does it defines the constant references like it will define the reference as a constant to the array but what we can do we can still change the elements of the constant array so it doesn't define the array uh, like it doesn't define constant array it defines the reference constant okay what is difference between uh, triple equal to and double equal to difference between double equal to and triple equal to is double equal to it is used to check the value whereas triple equal to it is used to check the value as well as the data type so that is the main difference between double equal to and triple equal to uh, in react js basically uh, how many ways are there to transfer data between the components so uh, we can uh, pass the data so from parent to child component we use uh, this prop then uh, with the help of callback function we can pass the data from child component to parent component uh, then we can uh, use context api and we can use redux as well okay is it possible to transfer data from child to parent from child to parent yes okay how callback function okay can you give one example scenario you can say like yeah. it, uh, when do you need to transfer like uh, from child to parent okay so example like suppose uh, on a button click in the child component we want to pass the data from a uh, child component to parent component this is one of the example you can say okay okay how will you implement like context api so uh, like uh, if we so for creating the context we will use create context method okay what okay, what is fragment in react so react fragment it helps us to return multiple elements without adding extra nodes to the dom okay what is control component so a uh, control component uh, it is a component uh, which forms data they are handled by the help of component state and the uh, the control component they, uh, they are controlled by the react state Uh, what are the disadvantages of class component and uh, how it is overcome in functional component so class components it it uh, requires us to extend from the react dot component whereas in functional component it is a simple js functions and returns a react element also life cycle method so uh, we use different logics like component did mount cup so th there are certain logics to be uh, like logically it is been a bit spread it but function in functional components we use use effect then uh, testing testing time uh, like it is easier to test due to simple uh, js function in functional component as compared to class component so these are the few disadvantages and this is how we overcome in functional okay how do you manage state inside functional component uh with the help of use state uh, we manage the state okay yeah um, right. have you ever used a uh, use reducer so use reducer hook uh, so it is similar to the use state hook it will store the state and it later on it will update the state so uh, what it will do it will take the first fun first parameter as reducer function and the second parameter as initial state okay. okay what is virtual dom virtual dom it is the copy of the real dom so what happens is uh, so suppose there is a chain line of uh, there is a certain number of line of code and uh, and we have changed a single line of code so in virtual dom what it will happen is it will only render that line of code instead of uh, rendering each and every line of code which improves the uh, processing okay Okay, what is higher order components? So higher order components, 
uh, higher order component it accepts the function as an argument and returns a new component so uh, for toggling the uh, toggling uh, for uh, highlighting the text so in these scenarios we generally use HOCs okay what is hook uh, hook allows us to use the features of state and lifecycle methods so these features we can use without the help of class components in functional components yeah, those are the default hooks but like when do you need to define a custom hook why do you need a custom hook so how we define is function uh, function keyword then usc and then whatever the developer wants to write for example addition subtraction or something like that so function keyword use and according to the developer of uh, what he wants or according to the scenario he will write the name so us is the main keyword uh, and when in in the scenario when we want the reusability purpose in uh, like in we want to use in multiple components so at that time we use custom hooks how many ways or how you can like optimize your react.js application how we optimize uh, with the help of use memo use callback uh, then with the help of lazy loading so these are the few ways like what is memo so memo uh, it is useful when we want to avoid unnecessary re-rendering so at that time we use memo so it uses the last rendered result okay okay what is ssr server side rendering so server side rendering so before sending uh, the render web uh, like before sending the web pages to the client it is rendered on the server the web pages are rendered on the server before sending them to the client okay what is pure component so pure component is like a memo only like uh, it is used in class component and it is used for avoiding re-rendered purpose okay how will you implement or how many ways are there to implement uh, rest apis what are the ways fetch and uh, axios okay what do you mean by composition in react.js so composition uh, so it means combining multiple reusability components so that is the meaning of the composition of uh, okay Can you like uh, implement the concept of multiple inheritance in React.js using class components? Yes, we can do. Uh, like we can do with the help of component composition. What is arrow function? So arrow functions, it doesn't have function keyword as well as return keyword. So it is more simpler syntax as compared to the normal functions. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you have any idea about TypeScript? Mm, no, I'm on the learning phase, but mm. do you know what is TypeScript? A uh, TypeScript it is similar to JavaScript, uh, but with a few features added to it. So uh, we can say that it is a superset of JavaScript in short. Why do you need server side rendering? So server side rendering, uh, it is useful in loading the website pages quickly and also uh, like for search engine, uh, search engines to uh, index it, uh, it is also useful in that purpose.